This will be a very short update, but I just wanted to show you what I'm up to. I don't know if you noticed it while we were on our little train ride. But right over here is a still. Well, sort of looks like a still. Best still I could come up with. And it's hidden in the trees, and it was at the suggestion of Burton on Humbert. In fact, Burton on Humbert suggested the orchard. So, kudos. I've also added, there you can see it. Little summer house out in the trees. If I lived there, I'd want a little summer house out by the trees. And our friend Graham noticed that the last video, the first video had this Land Rover in it, and then the last video, the one before this, didn't have it in it. So I moved it back for Graham. I've also decided to deploy the square baler. That's not the square baler. So he's busy out there making square bales. I'll take you around to the other side and I'll show you one other thing. I have noticed over many years that children love buttons. So I installed a little button and it turns on the light in the repair shed. Lori Calvert was talking about his, or, or mentioned his buttons on his layout that he takes around and the kids love all the ziz wheels and whatchamacallums that he lets them operate. Well, this is a beginning for me. It's a big step, but when you push this button, the light goes on over there. It's kind of like power windows though. Unless I have the power on, it doesn't work. So all the lights have to be on for it to work. That's about it for now. Just the orchard. And I looked at a lot of UK orchards, but I decided to make this look a little bit more like the ones from where I grew up which was California. And they have a lot of orchards there. So there's a wagon and a tractor. Wagon and a tractor. And I've got some ruts. For the wheels of the wagon to ride in. I haven't finished the rest. I still have some fields to finish. I've got that one right there that needs to be finished. It, it, it is part of the yellow field that was over there. But they got separated, and that's not going to be a yellow field anymore. That'll be a, a green field. I might even extend the orchard out into there, but for now it's just going to have uh, ground cover. Then I've got this field that I need to uh, complete and that field over there 
that I need to complete. And I have to complete Farland Walk. So right now Farland Walk has got a break in it. Farland Walk will come along the fence line come down along the orchard past that little gate then it will jog out into the field and then it continues on through another livestock gate in case there's livestock out there. Ten years along until it gets to the footbridge. From the footbridge it continues over there and takes a jog. Let's see if we can zoom in on that sign. It's not going to let me. Anyway, it says Farland Walk again. And it points you out here where we have a nice bench and an overlook. I'll show you what it looks like from the overlook. Pretty good view. You can even see the farm. So this is the farm as of today. You may have noticed that today I'm using my portable back seam. It's movable. I can move it along any place along that side of the table. Gives a trains a little bit of a background. 
Yeah, I painted it. Came out okay. Good enough for our distant back scene. I was able to find one of these absolutely superb signal boxes. Apparently they're uh, they're hard to find right now. But it's perfect for this location. At least I think so. I'll show you what I did do it. Gonna have to hand hold the camera, so if it makes you dizzy or makes you sick, close your eyes. So inside I put a little guy in there and I didn't need those ground frames anymore so I uh, modified them and set them in there. I know that's not really accurate but at least I think so. I need to hire that wire a little bit better than it's hidden. I may have to change that, at least the first word, to Shell Hill, because that's where it is in use. Well, I can do that in a little bit here. That one too, I don't like it. But the rest doesn't look too bad. I'll probably dabble a little... Uh, ballast on there semi covered it and down here I'm planning on I don't have the right stops yet these are just temporary but uh, I'm planning on using static grass around this area and have it gradually reduce until about here and then the track will look about like it does now maybe a little bit of grass in there you know when they back in a uh, rake of coaches or wagons or something this part down here gets rolled over quite a bit but at the very end doesn't get nearly as much traffic bye from farland